Elvis Presley, known globally as the king of rock and roll, remains one of the most iconic and influential figures in the history of music. With his unique voice, charismatic stage presence, and groundbreaking fusion of musical styles, Elvis transformed the cultural landscape of the 20th century. But beneath the glittering veneer of his stardom lie secrets that cast a shadow over his legacy. In today's video, we delve into the darker aspects of Elvis's life that he and those close to him kept hidden from the public eye. Drawing from a wealth of sources, including intimate biographies, revealing interviews, and insider accounts, we uncover the complex and often troubling dimensions of his personal life. From his unusual phobias and controversial relationships to his struggles with addiction and behavior, these revelations paint a picture of a man who faced profound challenges amidst his fame. Join us as we explore the top 10 dark secrets Elvis Presley didn't want the world to know, offering a deeper understanding of the pressures and pitfalls that accompanied his meteoric rise to stardom. 10. Hidden Children Among the more scandalous aspects of Elvis Presley's legacy are the persistent rumors and claims regarding children he allegedly fathered and kept hidden from the public eye. These allegations suggest a web of secrets and denials woven into the fabric of his life adding a layer of intrigue and mystery that still captivates the public and media. The speculation about Elvis's hidden offspring has been fueled by numerous individuals coming forward over the years, claiming to be his unacknowledged children. These claims are often supported by compelling stories and some circumstantial evidence, such as resemblances or alleged private acknowledgments by people close to Elvis. The narrative of hidden children fits into a larger pattern of secrecy and revelation that has often surrounded iconic figures like Elvis, whose personal lives could never quite escape the spotlight. Tabloids and some biographers have extensively covered this angle, occasionally providing platforms for supposed children to share their stories. These accounts typically describe secretive relationships between Elvis and various women and subsequent births that were kept out of the public eye to protect Elvis's image and career. Whether these claims are valid or not, they contribute to the ongoing fascination with Elvis's personal life, suggesting it was as complex and filled with drama as the persona he projected on stage. Moreover, the idea that Elvis might have fathered several children and worked to keep them hidden speaks to broader themes of celebrity culture, privacy, and the consequences of fame. It raises questions about how public figures manage their private lives and deal with responsibilities and relationships discreetly. Whether any of these allegations of hidden children are ever conclusively proven, they certainly thicken the plot of the legend that is Elvis Presley, ensuring that interest in his life story continues to endure. Nine, the germaphobe. Elvis Presley's charismatic and bold stage presence was in stark contrast to his personal idiosyncrasies, particularly his extreme fear of germs. This phobia influenced many aspects of his daily life and dictated seemingly peculiar behaviors that those close to him were forced to accommodate. Elvis was so terrified of contamination that he went to extraordinary lengths to avoid common sources of germs that most people would overlook. One of his most notable habits was carrying his own set of silverware wherever he went. Whether dining at high-end restaurants or visiting friends, Elvis insisted on using his personal cutlery a practice that certainly raised eyebrows and created logistical challenges during social occasions. Additionally, this intense germophobia meant Elvis rarely accepted invitations to eat at other people's homes, preferring the controlled environment of his own residence where he could ensure cleanliness to his standards. This fear wasn't just limited to eating utensils, it extended to any object that might come into contact with his mouth. Drinking from a glass previously used by someone else was out of the question for him. This obsession with cleanliness might seem excessive or even eccentric to outsiders, but for Elvis, it was a serious concern that significantly impacted how he interacted with the world around him. Such behavior adds a layer of complexity to the superstar's life, revealing a vulnerable side to the man who seemed untouchable on stage. Eight, young love interests, Elvis Presley's romantic relationships, particularly with significantly younger women, have always been a topic of intense scrutiny and controversy. Among these relationships, none is more famous or infamous than his courtship with Priscilla Beaulieu, who was just 14 years old when they first met. 
Elvis at the time was a 24-year-old international superstar embodying a level of fame that few could comprehend. This age gap in the circumstances of their meeting have drawn critical attention and sparked debate about the appropriateness and ethics of their relationship. Their romance began in Germany, where Elvis was stationed with the U.S. Army and where Priscilla lived with her family. The relationship progressed as Elvis persuaded her parents to let Priscilla move to the United States to be with him. This move, sanctioned under the condition of her attending school and living under the supervision of Elvis's father and stepmother, eventually led to their marriage when Priscilla was 21. The public and media reaction was mixed. While some fans were enamored by the fairy tale like romance of a young girl and a pop icon, others were disturbed by the significant age difference in the dynamics it suggested. This relationship set the tone for Elvis's pattern of being attracted to young, often inexperienced women, a tendency that continued throughout his life. These relationships added a complex layer to his public persona, intertwining his image with discussions about power dynamics and the exploitation of fame. The legacy of these relationships continues to color the narrative around Elvis Presley. 7. Obsession with Appearance Elvis Presley, though he dazzled millions with his natural charm and good looks, was deeply preoccupied with his appearance and the inevitable toll that aging and lifestyle choices took on his physique. This obsession with maintaining a youthful and slender image led him down a path of extreme diets and ultimately to cosmetic surgery, attempts to hold onto the veneer of vitality that his public persona demanded. Throughout his career, Elvis engaged in numerous drastic diets, some of which were extreme, even by today's standards. Friends and insiders reported that he would sometimes limit himself to just 500 calories a day, an unsustainable regimen that he believed necessary to maintain his slim figure. This fixation on dieting was coupled with an array of health fads and quick fixes that promised to keep him looking young and fit. Yet these practices often led to cycles of rapid weight loss and gain, putting additional stress on his body. As Elvis entered his 40s, his concerns about his appearance intensified, leading him to explore cosmetic surgery as a solution to the visible signs of aging. It is reported that he underwent at least one facelift along with other procedures aimed at preserving his youthful features. These surgeries were not widely publicized at the time and were a well-guarded secret known only to those within his closest circle. Elvis's efforts to conceal his aging were driven by the pressures of fame and his desire to remain appealing to his fans. This preoccupation with his looks reflects the broader insecurities he faced, struggling to reconcile his public image with his personal reality. His battle with his appearance is a poignant reminder of the cost of fame and the often impossible standards set by the entertainment industry. 6. Pet Chimpanzee's Bizarre Use Among the numerous eccentricities of Elvis Presley's life at Graceland, perhaps none was more bizarre than his ownership of a pet chimpanzee named Scatter. Scatter was not just a mere exotic pet. He was integrated into Elvis's social life in ways that often crossed the lines of appropriateness and animal welfare. Scatter's antics at parties are legendary, but they also highlight a darker, more reckless side of the frivolity associated with Elvis's entourage. Scatter was famously known for being a fixture at many of Elvis's gatherings, where he was encouraged to engage in behaviors that were both amusing and inappropriate, trained to perform tricks and interact with guests. Scatter's party tricks often involve pulling women's skirts and generally causing mayhem, actions that were encouraged and laughed at by guests. This training reflects a disregard for boundaries and consent, framing the chimp's actions as entertainment despite the discomfort they might cause. Moreover, Scatter's life at Graceland wasn't just about playful mischief. He was often given alcohol as part of his party performances, which further complicates the ethical implications of his role in Elvis' life. This treatment of Scatter paints a picture of the times and the lifestyle at Graceland where the normal rules didn't seem to apply and where the line between fun and exploitation could become uncomfortably blurred. The use of scatter as a party prop ultimately adds a layer of sad irony to the glamorous image of Elvis's life. Behind the laughter and the spectacle was a creature suffering for entertainment, a reflection of the more thoughtless aspects of celebrity culture. Scatter's story is a poignant reminder of the excesses of Elvis Presley's world, 
where even a chimpanzee could be swept up into the whirlwind of fame in its darker undertones. Five, violence and control. Elvis Presley's charm and charisma on stage were undeniable. Yet behind the scenes, his personal relationships were often marred by instances of violence and controlling behavior. These aspects of his character cast a shadow over his legacy, revealing a complex and troubled individual struggling with the immense pressures of fame. Elvis's relationships, particularly with women, were often characterized by jealousy and possessiveness, traits that manifested in unhealthy and sometimes harmful ways. His long-term partner, Linda Thompson, chronicled numerous incidents in her memoir where Elvis's behavior escalated into frightening displays of anger and control. One particularly disturbing account involved Elvis firing a handgun in their home, an act that deeply unnerved those around him. Such outbursts were not isolated incidents. They were part of a pattern that depicted a man who could switch from loving to terrifyingly volatile with little warning. Control was a recurring theme in Elvis's approach to relationships. He was known to dictate what his partners could wear, who they could see, and how they should behave. This controlling nature extended to extreme measures, such as having the tires of Priscilla Presley's car slashed to prevent her from leaving him after a heated argument. These actions paint a picture of a man who felt entitled to exert absolute authority over his partners, reflecting deeper insecurities and a fear of abandonment. The violence and control exhibited by Elvis raised serious questions about the impact of his behavior on those closest to him. While his musical legacy continues to be celebrated, these darker aspects of his personal life provide a more complete understanding of the man behind the music. It's a stark reminder that the idols we often admire can have profound flaws and that their glamorous exteriors can sometimes hide troubled souls. Four, allegations of racism. Elvis Presley's rise to fame was meteoric, fueled by his electrifying performances and a unique sound that bridged the gap between black and white musical traditions. However, his relationship with the black community and the origins of his music have long been subjects of intense debate and scrutiny. Accusations of racism and cultural appropriation have tinted perceptions of Elvis, complicating his legacy as a pioneer in the music industry. Elvis's music undeniably drew heavily from African-American influences. His style, moves, and sound were deeply rooted in the rhythms, blues, and gospel music predominantly created by black artists. Critics argue that Elvis's success came at the expense of the very black artists whose music he emulated, many of whom remained in obscurity or were marginalized by the music industry. This issue of cultural appropriation is a significant part of the discussions around Elvis's impact on music and race relations. Moreover, allegations of personal racism have been levied against Elvis. Notable figures such as Chuck D from Public Enemy famously criticized Elvis for stealing black music and perpetuating systemic racial inequities. Anecdotal accounts and controversial statements attributed to Elvis have fueled these perceptions though some argue these comments are misinterpretations or outright fabrications. Despite these accusations, there are also stories and testimonies from individuals close to Elvis and from the black community that portray him as inclusive and non-prejudiced. These conflicting narratives have led to a complex and often polarized view of Elvis's relationship with race and his cultural legacy. The debate over Elvis Presley's alleged racism and his appropriation of black music underscores the complicated dynamics of race, culture, and fame in America. It challenges fans and critics alike to consider the broader implications of his musical heritage and the societal structures that enabled his rise to stardom while sidelining the very artists who inspired him. This aspect of Elvis's story invites a deeper reflection on the intersection of race, art, and commerce in the shaping of musical legacies. Three, addictions. Elvis Presley's dazzling career and charismatic public persona were shadowed by his private battles with addiction, a struggle that profoundly impacted his health, behavior, and ultimately, his legacy. Behind the glitz and glamour of his stardom, Elvis grappled with a dependency on a variety of prescription medications and substances, which began to take a toll on him physically and mentally as his career progressed. Elvis's addictions are often traced back to the pressures of his meteoric rise to fame and the relentless demands of his performance schedule. The king of rock and roll found himself in a whirlwind of tours, movie shoots, and public appearances, 
with little time to rest or deal with personal issues. To cope, Elvis turned to prescription drugs for energy to perform, and then to sedatives to help him sleep, creating a cycle of dependency that was exacerbated by the ready availability of these drugs from compliant doctors and aides who were reluctant to refuse his requests. The impact of these substances became increasingly apparent over time. Those close to Elvis noted significant changes in his mood, behavior, and physical appearance. His once energetic performances became erratic, and his health issues, including weight gain and heart problems, were exacerbated by his drug use. Despite multiple attempts at rehabilitation, including hospital stays intended to help him detox, Elvis's dependency deepened. Tragically, it was his addiction that contributed to his premature death at the age of 42. The official cause, heart failure, was undoubtedly compounded by years of prescription drug abuse, which had taken a severe toll on his cardiovascular health. Elvis's struggle with addiction paints a somber picture of the often overlooked pressures faced by celebrities and the destructive impact of fame on personal well-being. His story serves as a cautionary tale about the pitfalls of success and the human cost of maintaining an image at all costs. Two, the complicated marriages. Elvis Presley's marriage to Priscilla Beaulieu and his subsequent relationships were fraught with complexities that cast long shadows over his personal life. These relationships, particularly his marriage to Priscilla, were emblematic of his struggles with intimacy and fidelity which were exacerbated by the pressures of his fame and the environment in which he lived. Elvis met Priscilla in 1959 when she was just 14 years old, and he was stationed in Germany during his service in the U.S. Army. Their relationship began under the intense scrutiny of public attention and continued in this vein throughout their courtship and marriage. Priscilla moved to Memphis to be with Elvis, living at Graceland and adopting his lifestyle long before they were married in 1967. The relationship was marked by Elvis's controlling behavior, his demands that she adhere to his lifestyle and schedule, and his infidelities, which were widely known but rarely discussed publicly at the time. The marriage ultimately crumbled under these strains. Priscilla has spoken about how she felt lost in her identity, having spent her formative years within the insular world of Graceland under Elvis's shadow. Her decision to leave him in 1972, though painful, was a move towards finding her own voice and agency, a journey many women connected with at a time when societal norms around marriage and women's roles were being questioned and redefined. After his separation from Priscilla, Elvis's subsequent romantic engagements reflected his ongoing struggles. His relationships with women like Linda Thompson and Ginger Alden were similarly complex and marked by patterns of overbearing behavior and emotional volatility. These women witnessed firsthand the decline of his health, influenced by his addictions and the increasing pressures of his career, which also played out in their relationships. Elvis's complicated marriages and relationships offer a glimpse into the dichotomy of his life, between his public persona as a beloved icon and his private identity marked by personal turmoil. They illustrate how his experiences with love, betrayal, and heartache were magnified by the extraordinary circumstances of his fame affecting not just the women he was involved with, but also his own emotional and physical well-being. 1. Erratic Behavior and Paranoid Actions In the twilight years of his life, Elvis Presley exhibited increasingly erratic behavior and signs of paranoia, aspects of his personality that were both alarming and deeply saddening to those around him. His actions during this period painted a picture of a man who, despite his fame and fortune, was grappling with profound personal demons and a sense of vulnerability that he could scarcely admit or manage. Elvis's paranoia manifested in various alarming ways, one of which was his obsession with personal safety and security. He took to carrying firearms regularly, a habit that was not only known but often visibly evident to those who worked with him and visited him at Graceland. This behavior extended to public appearances and even to casual outings where Elvis felt the need to arm himself against perceived threats. This pervasive sense of insecurity led him to obtain a federal narcotics badge from President Nixon, which he reportedly used under the guise of fighting drug abuse, though it also served his delusions of combating perceived enemies and infiltrators. Moreover, Elvis's erratic behavior was not limited to his fascination with firearms. 
He also took on the bizarre habit of impersonating police officers, complete with a police siren and lights mounted on his cars. He would stop drivers under the pretense of routine police checks, only to reveal his identity and often leave the unsuspecting individuals bewildered and starstruck. These actions, though seemingly harmless, were indicative of his complex relationship with power and control, reflecting his deep-seated fears and his desire to maintain an element of authority in his personal interactions. As his health declined, these behaviors became more pronounced, intertwining with his battles with addiction and his deteriorating physical condition to create a cycle of instability and impulsiveness. Elvis's later years, marked by such paranoid and erratic actions, contribute to a somber chapter in the life of one of the world's most adored musical icons. They underscore the profound impact that fame can have on personal well-being, serving as a poignant reminder of the human fragility that often lies hidden beneath the glittering facade of celebrity. As we draw the curtains on the shadowed corridors of Elvis Presley's life, we are left with a portrait of a man as complex and conflicted as any character penned in fiction. The dark secrets we've explored today reveal layers of Elvis that diverge sharply from his public persona as the undisputed king of rock and roll. From his struggles with germophobia and addiction to his troubled relationships and erratic behavior, these revelations paint a picture of a legend who battled many demons behind the glitz and glamour of celebrity. It becomes evident how fame, an entity both coveted and critiqued, can profoundly influence personal behavior and leave an indelible mark on one's legacy. The stories of Elvis's hidden struggles and private idiosyncrasies remind us that the luminous glow of stardom often casts long shadows. Fame brought Elvis unprecedented adulation and access, but it also imposed immense pressures that shaped his actions and decisions in ways that were not always visible to the outside world. Elvis's life story is a poignant reminder of the human costs associated with living under the relentless scrutiny of public adoration. His journey through incredible highs and profound lows underscores the complex interplay between a public persona and private vulnerabilities. Beyond the electrifying performances and chart-topping hits, Elvis was a man grappling with desires, fears, and challenges that were remarkably ordinary, yet magnified by his extraordinary circumstances. We invite you to reflect on these facets of Elvis's life. Which of these secrets surprised you the most? How do they reshape your perception of Elvis Presley? Do they cast a new light on the man behind the music? Or do they deepen the mystery that surrounds his enduring legacy? Share your thoughts and reactions in the comments below. We value your insights and look forward to engaging with your views. So what are your thoughts on this? Sound off in the comments section down below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for celebrity news and updates every day.